It's triggered ugly confrontations in the Southern Ocean. And there's no doubt that Japan's scientific whaling program inflames public opinion in many parts of the world. Australia opposes it and is pressing ahead with a legal challenge. Japan's whale hunt is often pitched as an integral part of the national identity. But there is dissent and opposition. Tonight, the program from within. We've unearthed insider accounts of rampant corruption in the scientific whaling fleet. But those allegedly on the take aren't the ones looking at serious jail time. Here's North Asia correspondent Mark Willisey. around racetracks as a professional rider. Now he's an environmental action man. But his daredevil dissidence could cost him his freedom. There's a saying in Japan that the nail that sticks out should be hammered back in. In this country, where conformity is a national duty, Toru Suzuki is a protruding nail and the way to beat him back into line, a possible 10-year prison term. レースの時も出てたら帰ってこないかもしれないという思いでは毎回毎回送り出していたので、あと自分たちがコントロールできない力によっていろんな決断が行われるので。あの、今回の不安の方が、あの、全く大きいし、次元の違う不安だと感じています。This is Toru Suzuki's partner in crime. Junichi Sato is the other half of the so-called Tokyo 2. They're Japanese Greenpeace activists who say they've exposed deep-seated corruption inside their country's highly controversial scientific whaling program. It's almost two years since I got arrested um, and now it's coming to the end. I think it's worth it because we could put spotlights on the corruption of the whaling industry, which nobody had ever done. Jinichi Sato is returning to the scene of the alleged crime. He's travelling to Amori in northern Japan, where the trial of the Tokyo 2 is wrapping up. Sato and Suzuki are getting ready for another day in court. They were hoping this might have been the ordeal for those they were trying to expose. After all, they claim they'd found proof of an illegal smuggling racket worth hundreds of thousands, possibly millions. But in an incredible twist, they've ended up in the dock accused of theft and trespass. Well, it's obvious this was politically motivated arrest. 
Under their bail conditions, Sato and Suzuki can only meet each other in the presence of their lawyers. Tonight, they are meeting their legal team to plot the final day of cross-examination, when the Tokyo 2 will come face to face with the crew member whose whale meat they took. Uh, are we going to be showing the photograph? We are showing the photograph of the two officers. Well, of course, the reason of us fighting on this case was to avoid a jail sentence, but at the same time, I'm really keen to expose on uh, the real, real corruption of the wedding industries. The Tokyo 2's journey started with this man, a former crew member on board Japan's flagship whaling vessel, the Nishin Maru. In a highly sensitive and secretive industry, he blew the whistle on crewmates who he says were stealing whale meat from the scientific whaling program. The former crewman calls himself Kajira-san, or Mr. Whale. Foreign correspondent agreed to hide his identity. Kajira-san was a butcher on board whaling ships. He knew the best cuts, and he says he watched as fellow crewmen helped themselves. ま、隣近所に配る人もいるようですけども、あの、その個人送り、送り先がその個人の住所じゃなく、ここに使ってると店舗が、そこだから明らかに売買してるっていうことは、あとま、クジラに食っていいを立てたっていう話も聞いてます
after seeing the content itself, we thought, wow, this is quite a big scandal. We need to expose it in a way that public can see it. And that's where we decided to keep the box. Greenpeace estimates the value of the meat inside the box at as much as three and a half thousand dollars. And it was just one of more than 90 boxes taken by the crew. After showing the whale meat to the media, Sato and Suzuki handed it over to prosecutors who promised to investigate. And when we started talking, uh, the prosecutor was quite interested and quite enthusiastic to uncover uh, this corrupted program. So I thought, OK, we did the right thing. This guy is quite interested. So I thought, you know, the result would be, would be also good. But the result wasn't good for you, was it? No, not at all. Uh, in fact, they dropped the case against those crew members, but on the same day, uh, Toru and myself was arrested. The tables had turned dramatically. The campaigners were now accused criminals. So how did you feel when not only were you arrested, that you later discovered that the prosecutors had dropped any investigation against the crew members? Well, I was furious for, for that. You know, I was shocked, but I couldn't express that anger to the outside. For almost a month, Suzuki and Sato were held incommunicado behind the closed doors of the justice system. How long were you held for? Basically, you, you know, I was uh, in a small room without any windows, uh, attached to the, you know, chair. Tied to the chair. Tied to the chair. And uh, um, only one police officer and myself in a small room, without any recordings, without any lawyer's presence. During the trial, the fisheries agency said it was perfectly legal for crew members to take home souvenirs of whale meat for their private use. But that wasn't what they had said earlier, when Sato had rung the agency to check the official policy. By the time of the trial, somehow the agency had changed its story, and now the activists had become the supposed thieves. Outside Japan, many applaud the Tokyo 2 for taking on Japan's powerful whaling interests. But at home, it's a different story. What Shuhei Nishimura and his loyal band of protesters lack in numbers, they make up for in noise. They argue that eating whale is part of Japanese culture. To be anti-whaling is to be anti-Japan. What should happen to those activists, the Japanese Greenpeace guys? Well, it doesn't surprise me because that's what we get from, I mean, phone calls. Um, it's just people saying that you have to go to jail now or you die or something like that. 
日本のためなんですね自分たちの子供がこれから将来ね暮らしていくこの国がやはり本当に市民が声を上げられる。社会でなきゃいけないその気持ちでね、あのー、やったことなのでそう裏切り者と言われた時にねそっちが裏切り者でしょっていうような気持ちはありますね。<音声>私が会社に入って報酬を始めてから最後までの間に取ったのが約 4,000 トン日本人のタンパク質源っていうタンパク質源の補給源っていうのかなそういうのを足るためにクジラをそのかわいそうだってそういう感じは全然なかったですねやはりあの神様に与えてくれた自然の恵みっていうことでこれ取ってればみんな日本の国民のためになるんだよっていう気持ちで一生懸命取ったそういうふうに僕は最初は考えておりますからねあのこいつなんかは He takes us to a nearby whaling museum he helped establish これが私が一番多く使ったホエールのスピードスピードのあるやつは少し上ヘッドの上を狙うとかゆっくりしてるやつはまっすぐも狙うとかパーンとこうするんですねちょうどあんたの身の振動も狙ってるよ今あのこちらあ、私は、私はああいう人たちの考えがわからないですね。え、なんであんなことするなんするんだろうって私は思いますね。どういう考えであんなことをしてるのか。私らには考え、想像がつかないですね。政府がね、きちっとした、あの、態度で対応しない
今度オーストラリアのテレビやってるああそうですか This community once made big money crewing the Antarctic whaling vessels. Those days have long gone. So, what do you say to your critics, groups like Greenpeace, Sea Shepherd, the Australian New Zealand governments, who say Antarctic scientific whaling is a joke? It's a cover for commercial whaling. I think there is definitely, you know, misunderstanding.、Uh, Japan, you know, have been、uh, providing scientific data. The、uh, problem is that they don't want to use it. They don't want to appreciate it. I think it's a shame. For the Tokyo 2, the day of judgment is approaching, with a verdict expected later this month. Japanese authorities insist the trial of the Tokyo 2 is a simple open and shut case of theft. But in fact, this trial is so sensitive, no one here wants to even talk about it. Foreign correspondent approached the Japanese Fisheries Agency, its scientific whaling body, the Institute for Cetacean Research, and members of the ruling Democratic Party of Japan for comment. No one would be interviewed. And when it comes to releasing information relevant to this case, prosecutors are just as reluctant, and not at all transparent. These are documents requested by the defence, and as you can see, it's a very different interpretation of freedom of information. These blacked-out documents are a fitting symbol of the dark fate which could await these two activists. In Japan's district court system, once charged, a conviction is almost certain. A staggering 99% of people charged are found guilty. If you are arrested and shown on the TV, then the people's notion about this person is okay. This person is guilty, criminal. And that's what I suffered from. <laughs> Junichi Sato and his wife have a four-year-old son, and they worry how he will be affected if Sato is jailed. I really like them to understand what I did was not for taking somebody's property for my personal gain. I did it for the benefit of society. And if they understand clearly, and I think they can support it. Yami, is that? Does your wife understand that? She was, you know, very normal Japanese person. Not having a background of the activist, it's quite hard to accept that. Yeah. Toru Suzuki and his wife have two children to worry about. Their four-year-old daughter Nina fears her father will once again be taken away. Do you wish that Toru had never ever taken this whale meat? あのまあやることにを信じているのであの彼が意図があってややったことというかそのあの信じて送り出しているのでそれに関してはないです。Even though that that could have a great personal cost to your family. そうですねはい。Judges will rule who's right, whether the Tokyo Two are a couple of troublemakers who deserve prison, or if they're crusaders for freedom of speech trying to expose corruption. But for Toru Suzuki, that protruding nail in the side of the Japanese establishment, he says he's prepared to take any blow, but he'll never be beaten down. そもそもやはり本当に正しいことをしたんだっていう気持ちで、あのずっと日々を過ごすということが、まあ僕らが求められている役割じゃないかなと思って日々過ごしています。
and we're going to be hearing a great deal more about whaling in the weeks ahead as world attention fixes on the International Whaling Commission's meeting in Morocco. On the agenda, a possible return of the commercial hunt.